Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who know how to use the power in their tongue to their advantage. Yes, because the Bible tells us in Proverbs 18, 21, that the power of life and death lies in the tongue. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Wit, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves amidst daily discouragement. Happy Easter. We hope the Easter was well spent. We want to say thank you for your views, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions, your suggestions, and all that you're doing, and even your positive feedback to Mommy Wit Meaningful Quotes. We pray that as you continue to support us in the work of the Lord and push us a step further, may the resurrection power of Jesus Christ make a difference in your life in Jesus' name. We have all become very aware of the fact that salvation was made possible because Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. And so if you have not yet given your life to Christ, or maybe you gave your life to Christ, but because of circumstances, you took it back. We are still in the Easter season. It's not late. You just need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or rededicate your life to Jesus and begin to live right, so that you'll be making that pertinent decision that will determine where you will spend eternity. Hallelujah. We have also been able to share on several topics from slots 1 to 121. The last being the fact that we should not be the kind of people who on a yearly basis accompany Jesus to the cross and mourn and weep for our sins. And then soon as the parade is over, we go back to our old selves. Or we should not be the kind of people who are the foot of the cross, who are in church, but are doing things that are not in line with the Jesus we are professing. We are living a life of double standards, casting laws, witch hunting, and, name, and all the things that you can name. But we should be like the repentant thief who acknowledged that he was a sinner, asked for forgiveness, and eventually got salvation. Praise the Lord. Today in slot 122, given that we are still in the Easter season, we are going to be asking ourselves a question. Who said what? Praise the Lord. But if you know this popular chorus before we get into the crux of the matter, you can join me to sing. And why not dance? Who has the final say? Jehovah, 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 Jehovah has the final say. So tell me, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turned my life around. He turned my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah has the final say. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes it's good to dance, it's good exercise, especially if you're dancing like King David for the glory of the Lord. Yes, who said what? And we have as main passage, Job chapter 22, verse 28, which tells us that we, can, we shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. My brother, my sister, sometimes we go through challenges in life. It can be in our health, in our finances, in our marriages, in our career, in our academic, in our residential situations, and what have you. And we find ourselves being stuck. Sometimes we know the origin of the problem and at other times we don't know. Maybe it's at a, as a result of something that was done somewhere or somebody somewhere said something but are we going to continue to lament to mourn to to grieve over the things that have been said when we have the power of life and death in our tongues or when we can decree a thing and it shall come to pass or when according to romans 6 verse 10 to 11 that the spirit of the lord that raised jesus from the dead also lives in us beloved in the lord it is not time to continue to explain to complain to to you know find alternative solutions to our our challenges it is time to go back to the bible because the bible says in joshua 1 verse 8 that this book of the law shall not depart from our mouth but we shall meditate upon it day and night the bible also instructs us in psalms 119 to hide the word of the lord in our hearts that we might not sin against god the bible clearly tells us in that same psalms 119 verse 105 that the word of the lord is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet it is clear that the Bible has promises for us that we can use to decree or we can use to cancel the declarations that have been made and begin to make declarations that will speak in our favor. But the problem is most of us today, we don't want to read our Bibles. We want others to read the Bible and tell us the stories that are in the Bible. That explains why when declarations are made, some of us are deceived into shouting, I receive when we should be shouting, I refuse. Beloved in the Lord, it is not time to wait for another person to do the work that you are supposed to do. It is time to go back to your Bible. 
Even if it is the mistakes that you have made in the past, the Bible clearly says in 1 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. So don't begin, don't continue to lament over the things that have passed, but begin to meditate upon the word of the Lord so that you will know your authority according to Luke 10, verse 17 to 19. If you don't know your authorities, like somebody who is going on a journey without a passport or without an ID card, should you get in trouble with the police, then it will be double trouble for you. But if you know who you are, if you know that greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world or that he that the son has set free is free indeed or that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus then you will begin to use your authority to counteract everything that has been made or said in in your disfavor and begin to say uh, make declarations that will speak in your favor and in the lives of your descendants and so if you have not yet given your life to christ just bow your head and say lord jesus come into my life wash me with the blood of the lamb give me the power to live right the power to hate sin and behold you will be making a declaration in your life that will cancel the negative that declarations that have been made and make the positive declarations to stand in your life. It is time to read your Bible and begin to speak in your favor. The Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom with peace.